Tenerife, the largest of Spain's Canary Islands, home of world famous attractions such as Mount Tidi, the world's best water park and of course the insane nightlife and clubbing scene. Join me on my adventure as I head over to this tropical paradise for the first time and explore exactly what it has to offer on Discovering Tenerife. Alright so it is currently Thursday evening and we're getting ready to leave the house in about half an hour. We got to get a flight to Tenerife over at Luton Airport, so we got to travel all night to get there because we're getting the train, so it's going to be quite a long journey. I've just about finished packing my suitcase for the trip, and honestly, I'm really excited for the next few days in Tenerife. It's going to be a it's going to be a really new and good experience, and I hope I can try a lot of new things over there. I'm going to go double check. I've got everything that I need. Get ready, and then go hop on the train. <laughs> After an overnight journey that felt like a lifetime, we finally arrived at Luton Airport. We made our way through security, carefully avoiding the sniffer dogs so they didn't suss out the kilo of cocaine we were smuggling through customs, and hopped on the plane to Tenerife. We touched down after a long three hours of minimal legroom and headed straight over to our villa for the next few days. The place was honestly stunning and had everything we needed for a great getaway. A hot tub, heated pool, barbecues and a king size room with my name on it. After a sleepless night of travelling from Newquay to Tenerife, all we needed was a good early night's sleep. So of course, we did the only logical thing to do on a Friday night and headed straight to the local clubbing spot. And shut him up, but fuck up. How are we feeling? No? I'm hanging, bro. I'm not ready for today yet. I'm going back to sleep, bro. Alright, so I finally got out of bed. I'm still feeling a bit rough, but it is what it is. We got stuff to do today. But Last America's was actually really good. The massive strip of clubs are all really decent, they're all pretty busy. Most of them are free entry and the drinks are pretty cheap, so I would recommend it. I'm not actually sure what the plan for today is yet, so I'm just going to go get a shower, get some breakfast, get ready, and then I guess we'll see what happens. So what's the plan for today then? Well, there's a mountain right next to the villa we're staying in and there's a cool hut on top of it. So I say take the camera and the drone, get some sick ass shots and just have fun. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is fucking gorgeous. We're getting the drone out. We're getting the drone out. With the mountain hike ending in an amazing view of the island and only getting pricked by two characters on the way up, I'd consider it an absolute success. But the whole thing tired us out quite a lot, so we descended the mountain, got some Mackies and headed straight to bed. Good morning. I just woke up feeling very refreshed after not going out last night, so that's always a great start to the day. I'm not really sure what the plan is, but I think we're going to go to Las Americas and go find some nice breakfast place, get some scran there, and then probably have a skate down to the beach because it's supposed to be really warm and really sunny today. So I think we're just going to have a chill one, try and get a tan. But yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. We ended up having breakfast at a little restaurant right next to the sea called Wakiki Beach and I ended up trying a Spanish omelette for the first time and it was actually really good and of course I had an orange juice on the side. After we finished eating, we strolled out to the beach for the day and just chilled out. We saw loads of really cool street performers, professional sandcastles and even more fake Gucci clothing being shoved in our faces. 
Later on, we headed up back to the villa for a chill evening next to the pool and cooked up some food on the barbecues. All in all, it was a really nice day, for which the most part we spent catching our breath back for the past couple of busy days and soaking up the sun while enjoying the sights. So since Monday was our last night away, we thought we'd end the trip on high by visiting the world's best water park for six years running, Tenerife's own Seam Park. While we were in there, we weren't able to get much camera footage of ourselves, but it was honestly one of the most fun things I've ever experienced. I went on all of the rides at least once, but my favourite was easily the Tower of Power, which is the sheer drop of a slide. I definitely recommend visiting if you can. Also, I got this really cool hat. With our last night on the island drawing to an end, we went out for our final meal and stopped at this really fancy place called El Gran Sol, which is supposed to translate to the big sun, but actually meant I still haven't financially recovered from eating there. For the starters, I got garlic mushrooms, and for my main, I got a rabbit paella, which is my first time trying both rabbit and paella. And finally for dessert, I finished with an overpriced strawberry waffle. With our holiday to Tenerife over before we even knew it, it was finally time to head back to England. I'm really glad I decided to visit, as it's my first time going abroad in recent memory, and it was honestly amazing to try new things like food from new different cultures, exploring some amazing natural scenery on the volcanic island, and also bombing it down water slides at top speed. What more can I say other than I spent a great few days discovering Tenerife? Yeah.